Today we will show you how to implement the interrupt in a real microcontroller. For this we are using PIC 16 f 877 a This is the circuit we are going to use. There is a switch attached to the microcontroller, which creates the interrupt, and when this interrupt is created, the attached LED toggles its state. As you can see here by pressing the switch we can generate the interrupt, and LED is changing its state from on to off or off to on. We will go step by step to learn it. First let us see the pin arrangement of the microcontroller. This is the picture and here you can see that pin RB0 is having dual function of INT which is nothing but an external interrupt. We will be using this pin to create the interrupt. Now we know, that to use the interrupt it has to be enabled, and it has to be enabled from two level, global level and the individual level. To enable or disable we need to set few bits of registers associated with the interrupt. In case of PIC 16 f 877 a the name of the register is INCAN. Here you see the picture of INCAN, it is 8-bit register. Here we need to set the GIE and INTE bits. GIE bit enables the global interrupt and INTE enables the individual interrupt associated with RB0. So this is the content of INCAN register, it is written in binary, if you change it to hex then it becomes 90 hex. So INCAN register has to be loaded with 90 hex. Now the INT interrupt is edge triggered. Means either a high to low or a low to high transition can generate the interrupt. The user can decide between rising edge or trailing edge. For that one more register is used. The name of the register is option underscore reg. Inside the option underscore reg there is a bit INTE DG. If you set it, then interrupt occurs on rising edge else the interrupt occurs on trailing edge. We will keep the default value of this register and load the O hex. Means for our example it will work on falling edge. Now we are all set. When a valid edge will occur at RB0 or INT pin that will be considered as the interrupt. And the flag bit INTF of INT can register will get set on its own. User has to do nothing, it will get set on its own and with this the microcontroller will understand that the interrupt has occurred at RB0 pin. Now we need to set up the circuit. Pin RB0 is selected. A switch has to be attached to it. The switch may require a pull-up resistance to work properly. RD0 pin is selected as output. Attach one LED with RD0. It is better if you use current limiting resistance with series to the LED. This will keep LED safe. You can use a resistor of value between 220 ohm to 1K. You need to follow standard rule for VCC, ground, and reset circuit. Now we will write the code for it. To write the code we will follow a flowchart. Since a switch is attached to pin RB0 we need to make it input. For this trisby register is used. Trisim0 equals 1 will set the bit RB0 hence it will become input pin. Now road 0 need to be configured as output. For this trisd register is used. Here we have written trisd equals 0. It will set all the pins of port D as output. Here we are going to use pin road 0, hence it gets set as the output. All other pins are also set as output, but we are not going to use them in this example. Now we need to keep the LED off at the beginning. For this we are writing port D equals 0. This will make pin RD0 to a value of 0. The anode of LED is attached to this pin. Therefore the anode and cathode both will get zero. LED will remain in off state. In our previous slide we have found and can register has to be loaded with 90 hex. Now load the value 90 hex to and can register. 
Also load zero hex to option underscore reg register. That's it. After this you have to do nothing so write while true loop with a semicolon. You are ready with your main code. If the switch is pressed the microcontroller will get the interrupt request. Then it will look for ISR. ISR means the code which it should execute when the interrupt has occurred. The user should write this code beforehand. Now let us see what should be written in the ISR code. When the interrupt occurs we want to toggle the LED. So we write if RD0 equals to equals to 0 then RD0 equals 1 else RD0 equals 0. Means if LED is off make it on or vice versa. Do not forget to clear the interrupt flag bet, it is done by writing INTF equals 0. Now the ISR code is also ready. Just include the header file and your full code is ready to build. Just before building the code set up the config bits and populate the crystal frequency. Once you are done with that by using the MPLAB IDE you can create the hex file and upload it to your microcontroller. For any query please drop us email and subscribe this channel.